You guys tired? <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> What's up, man? It's Phil X! I'm talking to you. Uh, one of the very first Gretsch duo jets, August 1953. 53, man. We're talking many, 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 many years ago. Uh, this is the Gretsch drum logo that they put on the body. And this is a Melita bridge fixed onto, like into the wood. After, the, after they were doing this, they started putting it on a floating piece of wood on the body. So uh, George Harrison used one of these. Hey, Beatles, yeah. And uh, two, there's two D-Armon pickups, which are hot, yet bitey. And uh, it's 7.8 pounds, exceptionally fine. Uh, this is the best we've ever seen here at Fred and Americana. I am in the Vox AC30. Sounds good, right? You know what's funny? Um, I'm not used to this guitar, so I'm playing that lick, and I hear this happening. Which is like the low string going into the pickup. Because that's how I pick, man, aggressively! <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I'm not going to do that lick anymore, but I like the sound. I love the sound of this treble pickup in the Vox AC30. tell that the pickups are hot because it's making the Vox AC30 respond differently. It's not very clean, but we can get... If you pick lighter, you get clean. string but this isn't a 12 string it's a six string but it sounds nice clean doesn't it and the mean before I places was being the one who starts <laughs> I love rush I gotta learn more wait I switched over to the evil robot and the treble pickup sounds pretty not as bright it sounds pretty rich and thick Send it out, so I'm gonna just tune it back up for a second here. All right. I uh, also wanted to mention now that I'm playing in the the uh, this is master volume right here, the Evil Robot. That um, we've sent out a whole bunch over the holidays, a whole bunch, people, a whole bunch, and everybody that received their Evil Robot was super, 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 super thrilled with the amp. That makes me very happy. That makes David very happy. That makes John Cash very happy. Makes Dustin really happy. Because we've been getting a lot of fan mail about the amp, and uh, this guy sent a picture of him in bed with it. So he's sleeping with his evil robot. I don't know about that, but when you plug into it, you will hear that this amp kicks ass. Kicks ass. So, um, that being said, uh, we're going to be at the NAMM show coming up in a few weeks, if this gets out in time. 
uh, or we were at the Aunt Nam show and it was amazing. <laughs> Uh, we'll see how it goes. But anyways, uh, we'll be at the NAMM show January 13, 14, 15, 16 at the Anaheim Convention Center. And uh, you can check out an app there. Uh, and I'll be there a bunch of times doing some playing and shaking hands and getting stalked. So aside from that, <laughs> um, let's get back to rock and roll. Rock and roll! Let's listen to the neck pickup here. No pedal has no nothing. That's just angry Diarman pickups into the evil robot. See what happen when we step on the bed. Man, we got really velvety smooth there for a second. Oh, hey! Uh, master volume? Whoa. FedEx, signing off! <laughs>